Lesson 29 homework. Number one, divide, rewrite each expression as a division sentence with a fraction divisor and fill in the blanks. The first one is done for you. So it's kind of broken it down for us for part A. So nine divided by one tenth. So first, we just wanna know how many tenths are in one whole. So there would be 10 tenths in one whole. So then if there are 10 tenths in one whole, how many would be in nine holes? So we just need to multiply that by nine. So we get 90 tenths in one, nine holes. B, six divided by one tenth. So again, there are 10 tenths in one hole. So then in six holes, there would be 60 tenths. C, three and six tenths divided by one tenth. So we have 10, how many tenths are in three holes? So we already know there's 10 tenths in one. So in three holes, there would be 30 tenths. There are how many tenths in six tenths? Well, it tells us right there since it's six tenths. So if we add those together, the 30 tenths plus the six tenths, we would get 36 tenths in three and six tenths. D, 12 and eight tenths divided by one tenth. So there are how many tenths in 12 holes? Again, there's 10 tenths in one. So in 12, we would have 10 tenths times 12, which would get us 120. So there are 120 tenths in 12 holes. There are how many tenths in eight tenths? Eight. So if we add 120 plus eight, we get 128 tenths in 12 and eight tenths. E, three divided by one hundredth. So now we're on to hundredths. So there are how many hundredths in one whole? We would have 100 hundredths is equal to one. So there are 100 hundredths in one whole. How many hundredths would be in three holes? It would be that times three. So 300 hundredths in three holes. F, seven divided by one hundredth. So again, there are 100 hundredths in one whole. So that means that there would be 700 hundredths in seven holes. And G, four and seven tenths divided by one hundredths. So how many hundredths are in four holes? Well, there's 100 hundredths in one hole. So in four holes, there would be 400 hundredths. How many hundredths are in seven tenths? So seven tenths would be equal to, if we just add a zero right there, we can see it's equal to 70 hundredths. So there are 400 70 hundredths in four and seven tenths. H, 11 and three tenths divided by one hundredths. There are how many hundredths in 11 holes? Well, we have 100 hundredths, so we need to multiply that by 11. So 100 times 11 would be 1,100 hundredths. How many hundredths are in three tenths? That would be 30 hundredths in three tenths. And if we add all that together, we get 1,130 hundredths in 11 and three tenths. Two, divide, two divided by one tenth. So two divided by one tenth would be equal to how many tenths are in one, 10 tenths in one hole. So in two holes, there would be 20 tenths. So it's equal to 20. 23 divided by one tenth. So again, one hole is 10 tenths. So 23 holes would be that times 10 times 23, which is 230 tenths. Five divided by one hundredth. So one hole is one hundred hundredths. So five holes, we multiply that by five, would be one hundred times five, or five hundred hundredths. D. Seven and two tenths divided by one tenth. So one hole 
is 10 tenths. Seven holes will be that times seven, so 70 tenths. Plus we have two tenths. So together that's 72 tenths. E, 51 divided by 1 hundredth. So one whole equals 100 hundredths. So 51 holes would be 100 times 51 or 5,100 hundredths. F, 31 divided by 1 tenth. One whole is 10 tenths. So 31 holes would be 31 times 10 or 310 tenths. So our answer is 310. G, 231 divided by 1 tenth. So one whole is 10 tenths. So 231 holes would be 231 times 10 or 2,310 tenths. H, four and 37 hundredths divided by 100th. One whole is 100 hundredths. So then if we have four holes, we have 400 hundredths. Plus we have this extra 37 hundredths. So if we add that together, we have 437 hundredths. And the last one, I, 24 and 5 tenths divided by 1 hundredth. So one whole equals 100 hundredths. So 24 holes be equal to 24 times 100 or 2,400 hundredths plus this 5 tenths 5 tenths is equal to 50 hundredths. So 2,400 plus 50 is 2,450. Put the comma in the wrong place. 2,450 hundredths. Three, Giovanna is charged one hundredth or one cent for each text message she sends. Last month, her cell phone bill included a $12.60 charge for text messages. How many text messages did Giovanna send? So she had $12.60 divided by one hundredth or one cent. So we know if we're dividing by one hundredths, we know that one whole is equal to 100 hundredths. So we have 12 holes. That would be 12 times 100 or 1,200 hundredths. Plus we have that extra 60 hundredths. It would give us 1,260 hundredths. So the 1,260 hundredths, actually, the hundredths is talking about texts. So she sent 1,260 texts. Number four, Geraldine solved a problem. 68 and 5 tenths divided by 1 hundredth equals 6,850. Ralph said, this is wrong because a quotient can't be greater than the whole you start with. For example, 8 divided by 2 equals 4, 
and 250 divided by 5 equals 50. Who is correct? Well, here, Geraldine is correct. Ralph is correct some of the time, but not all the time. So let's give some examples. So if we were to divide by 1, if we did 68 and 5 tenths divided by 1, we get 68 and 5 tenths. So that doesn't go with his thinking that it can't be greater. Because here, it's the same. So it didn't necessarily get smaller, like he said that it needs to. Another example would be if we did 68 and 5 tenths, and we divided that by 1 tenth. If we do 68 and 5 tenths divided by 1 tenth, we're going to get 685. So here it does get greater, even though he said that it couldn't, it can if we are dividing by a fraction. Number five, the price for an ounce of gold on September 23rd, 2013 was $1,326.40. A group of 10 friends decided to equally share the cost of one ounce of gold. How much money will each friend pay? So if we have $1,326.40 and we're dividing equally into 10 friends, what we need to do here, all we have to do is shift the decimal point one place, or shift the digits one place to the right, since we're dividing. So we get $132.64 a piece.